PLC Digital Input Wiring Connecting Push Button Auto Manual Selector Switch to the PLC Input Terminals we have, This is a symbolic representation of a Start Push Button which is normally Open Contact and a Stop Push Button Emergency Stop This is normally Close Contact This is a representation and one port four way selector switch this is one is the pole and a1 a2 a3 a4 these are the four outgoings in the same way we have auto manual selector switch in this case we have one is the pole and a1 a2 these are the two outputs one is auto and the other can be a man manual <coughs> now we have connected multimeter and we will test these functionalities of various devices this is the start push button we are ha having it right now which is a normally open contact and when we press the start push button we are getting the continuity of signal see when pressing the start push button we can see the continuity yeah. this is a stop push button and this is a normally close contact so we are already getting a continuity but if we press it we get the discontinuity the signal breaks the stops so this is how these push button works stop push button is nc contact at the back side it is nc contact when press when we press it we get the discontinuity in the same way this is a emergency stop push button which is pressed to release type and we are getting the uh, discontinuity right now because this is already pressed and we have opened it so we are getting the continuity so when we press it we get the discontinuity so this is the basically a emergency stop push button and now we have auto manual selector switch and see here <coughs> in auto manual selector switch we have one uh, pole one is one terminal is a pole terminal we have connected one wire here and a1 a2 are the two outgoings a, at a1 we have connected one wire and a2 is just left blank right now so one a1 a2 these are the terminals of auto manual selector switch and for testing we have connected one and a1 now we will switch this to the auto side and we can see we have got, we are getting the continuity at the auto and at the manual side there is no so one and a1 terminals get the continuity when we press it at the basically when we move it at the auto side in the same way we have this one pole four way selector switch and you can see here we have got four options to rotate it as we have seen in the diagram here we have one terminal A1, A3 and these are the A1, A3 terminals and at the other side we have A2, A4 terminals so basically they are one A1, A2, A3 and A4 they are, these are the four outgoings and we have connected one and A1 terminals for testing the continuity and see we have uh, we will rotate it at different positions 4, 3 so at the position 3 we are getting continuity because we have connected at the only one terminal so you can see here we have one pole and four way outgoing this way it works now we will test it and we will connect these devices to the PLC terminals first of all you can see here this is the basically digital input terminals and we are connecting common terminal to the input side at the NPLC input side we have common terminals this here we have C0 and C1 are the common terminals and we will connect DC common which is a black wire to these terminals first of all and this black wire is connected to the DC common terminal C0 and C1 <coughs> Other terminals 0 0.0, 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, these are the input terminals, and we will connect these uh, input devices to these terminals. And 
commons have already been connected see we will this is basically red terminals are dc positive terminals and we will start from here we have connect, taken one wire from red terminal this is a dc 24 volt positive and this is a start push button and this positive terminals we are connecting at this this is the nc no element of this start push button so at one side of no element we will connect this dc wire so we have we have connected dc positive to one side of this anode terminal of a start push button and now this is a stop push button and one side of this stop push button also we will connect the dc positive so what we have done we have taken a loop from that point of a start push button and we will connect to this stop push button also this is the NC element of stop push button and we will connect DC wire DC positive to one side of it So at one side we have connected uh, this DC positive and this is an emergency stop push button with NC element same way as with the stop push button and here also we will connect this DC positive wire at one side. So we are uh, taking the loop from that uh, stop push button to this one also. and we have next uh, we have auto manual selector switch and here at the one pole terminal which is a one terminal here we will connect this uh, DC loop basically DC positive at the terminal one which is a pole of auto manual selector switch so <coughs> with all the de input devices what we have to do we have to connect DC positive to all the devices that we have to take as a digital input to PLC in this way we have connected uh, DC to one side of these uh, devices input devices and we have taken a loop in this way now we will give the input to the PLC and for this uh, we will connect the other side of a start push button we will take a wire from this start push button other side and we will connect it here and to the PLC input terminal as you can see in the video this is the PLC input terminals and we have taken one wire from a start push button and now we will connect to the first input terminal of PLC uh, we can this is basically a 0.0, .0 terminal and we have connected this wire at the first input terminal which is a start push button terminal now <coughs> next we will take from take one wire from a stop push button which is NC element so we will connect the other side of this 
stop push button with a wire next wire and this is stop push button wire we will connect it to the next uh, digital input terminal which is a 0.1 terminal marked at the PLC so we have connected start and stop push button and now this is a emergency stop push button which is also NC element in the same way we will take one another wire and we will connect it to the other side of this tele element NC element this is the next input terminal so we have connected our emergency stop push button also and next we will come to our auto manual selector switch here we have already connected DC to the uh, one terminal number one that is pole of uh, auto manual selector switch we, we call it as a pole and we have two other outgoing that is A1 and A2 this is the terminal number A1 so we will take one wire from this uh, terminal A1 terminal and this wire we will connect to the uh, digital input terminal of PLC uh, next input terminal and this is here we will connect it at the auto manual selector switch we have one more point that is A2 A1 and A2 so we will use A2 also because one we will let A1 be the auto uh, selection then we can consider A2 as a manual uh, selection so when we will get signal at A1 it will be auto and if the signal is at A2 point we will consider it as a manual mode so now we will connect one wire at A2 uh, terminal we are connecting the here and this the other part, uh, side of this wire A2 will be connected uh, to the next uh, digital input terminal of PLC in the same way as we have connected previous ones so we have connected uh, these uh, input devices uh, to the PLC uh, in this way we will connect all other uh, digital input terminals uh, also if we have other devices also so now we will check it and we will test these input terminals by powering on the PLC and let's see how it works so we will switch on the power
so we have all the devices uh, one load load at one side with digital with dc 24 volt and other side is connected to the plc this is the concept with all the input devices and with all the plcs here we have to do digital input wiring see we have uh, switched on the power to the plc and we can see we are getting one input uh, terminal we are getting basically one input signal which is which is a one term input number one and, and this input is of a stop push button because this is a nc element and now we are pressing the start push button and you can see we are getting the zeroth input when we press the start push button because our first input is a start push button and you can see here in this video in, this is our start push button and if we are pressing it we are getting the signal at the zero, zeroth input this is basically a first input of PLC and this is a stop push button and if we press it uh, this is our signal which we are already getting it it will be uh, not displayed so stop push button which is NC element and if we press it the signal goes off so this is how it behaves <laughs> and this is basically an emergency stop push button basically this is a turn to release type and and see here we have auto manual selector switch right now it is at off condition and we are if we press if we we'll move it to the auto mode we are getting one signal and if we move it to the manual side we will get the other digital input signal that we can uh, register it as a manual bit and here we will get auto mode signal so in this way we will connect our plc devices input devices thank you for watching our video